How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm going to talk about the LiDAR sensor, which is an exclusive iPhone 12 Pro and 12 Pro Max feature. At this point, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with the LiDAR sensor. Everybody talked so much about it. I'm pretty sure you know it's a 3D sensor, it's a laser sensor, which is good for measuring distances and will enable a ton of new stuff uh, regarding AR and a lot more. But the thing is, everybody talks about LiDAR, but you don't see many content here on YouTube on people actually showing you how to use it. And the point of this video is exactly that. How can you use the LiDAR sensor right now? So I'm going to show you right now some practical examples of the LiDAR sensor in action so you can do it. You can use those examples on your iPhone 12 Pro or maybe if you're just curious about it, you're going to see it in action as well and probably see that it's not such a huge deal. Let's have a look. So we can use the LiDAR sensor right now for pretty much three different things. Number one, for enabling a few small features on the camera app. Number two, for using some specific features on third-party apps like games and like the IKEA app where you can use AR to put a piece of furniture in your living room. And number three, for the Measure app, which is a native built-in app on any iPhone and it gets pretty smarter with the LiDAR sensor. So let's start with that. Let's start with the Measure app and all it can do. Let's go. So let's start by measuring those three objects. We have the YouTube Silver Play button, an iPhone 8, and a water bottle, right? So uh, in order to use a LiDAR sensor, we're just gonna simply uh, look for the Measure app. Okay, as I said, this is a built-in native iPhone app, so you don't really need to download anything or pay for anything. So you're gonna open it up, and here you have a measure and you have the level. So let me try and actually scan just this side of the YouTube play button and see how long it is. And then I'm going to use um, a tape measure just to be perfect. Okay. I'm going to try and make you see while I do it, but maybe I'm not going to be able to. So please bear with me. So on one corner and then going down and then it's giving me 30 centimeters, right? So hope you can see it. Yep, 30 centimeters, uh, that's pretty much a foot. Okay, let's have a look at how exact that is comparing to an actual tape. So as you guys can see, the tape is giving me 30.5 centimeters, which is precisely a foot, which is pretty much what the iPhone gave me. Um, again, maybe this will vary like uh, half a centimeter or something, but that's very, very accurate and very, very precise. Now let's try and do the same thing for the iPhone, a much smaller object. So I'm gonna move a little bit far away, otherwise it won't recognize. And then from the top to the bottom, and then it gave me 14 centimeters. Can you see it there? 14 centimeters. Let's have a look using the tape. And as you guys can see using the tape, I'm getting precisely 14 centimeters. So again, perfect measurements using uh, the measure app with, of course, a lighter sensor. And last but not least, let's see the height because before we were just checking, checking something that was lying on a table. Let's see now 3D. So let's see the height. Let's see how good it gets. Uh, again, I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to do this without showing you because, uh, yeah, let's see if I can do it and then I'm gonna show you. So, so as you guys can see, 21 to 22 centimeters. Now let's have a look using the tape. And then uh, from the top to the bottom, we are getting 22. So from the top to the bottom, 22 centimeters. So like, this is very good. Um, I've used the measure app before and it was never that great, that accurate. Now with the lighter sensor, I can definitely tell this gets very, very precise measures, but it can do more than that. Let's see. On top of that, the LiDAR sensor can also identify automatically square and rectangle shaped objects. So then it can easily give you how wide and how tall it is and also give its area. That's pretty awesome. So as you guys just saw, the Measure app just gets much better accuracy. Uh, as a whole, it works much better. It gets very, very close to a real actual tape in real life. So that's very, very good because you can really trust on that app 
much, much more. On top of that, I got those smart little features. It's cool, it's interesting. I really like it, especially if you are like an architect, an engineer, um, uh, an interior designer. If you have a profession that you need to measure things all the time, it's very, very handy to have this app with the LiDAR sensor because it's gonna get you much more accuracy as a whole. Now we have the other two different types of applications. One, the new features for the camera, and in my opinion, uh, those are not a big deal at all. Uh, they will pretty much help you with low light situations, so for portrait mode in low light, and also uh, for autofocus in low light. So that sensor is gonna help you with the depth sensing, and it's gonna give you a better uh, distance feeling and everything like that, so we're gonna get better photos in low light. And last but not least, we have the third party app. So we have games, so we have those uh, AR games that people really love, especially kids, where where you can actually use your environment as the battleground. Uh, it's really interesting actually, if you are into mobile gaming and everything, this can be very, very cool. And on top of that, as I mentioned before, we have the IKEA app, which is just one example on how you can actually use the LiDAR sensor to get a much better uh, perception of your environment and actually place a piece of furniture or something in your room and you can actually see how it looks in very, very good detail. So bottom line here is the LiDAR sensor is not a big deal. It is not breakthrough new technology. It's not an awesome thing you really need. It's not a reason why you should get an iPhone 12 Pro or an iPhone 12 Pro Max because as a whole, if you see the big picture, two main things. One, this is pretty much a gimmick. <laughs> and number two, everything that you can do uh, on an iPhone 12 Pro and an iPhone 12 Pro Max using the LiDAR sensor and everything, you can still do it on older iPhone models like the iPhone 12, the 11, the iPhone 10 because the, all, the, the, the more basic uh, iPhone models, they can do all of that. They can do AR, they can do all of that. Uh, it's not gonna be as precise and as accurate, but for most people, you don't need to be 100% accurate to do those things. You don't need uh, those measurements to be perfect. You can use a tape. You don't need that game to be perfectly still because again, it is just a game. So it's just not worth it paying uh, the extra $300, $500, depending on where you're, you're thinking of going to, to get an iPhone 12 Pro or 12 Pro Max just for the LiDAR sensor. It's cool, it's interesting, but it's something that you're probably gonna use once or twice, and then you're never gonna use it again, to be pretty and completely honest with you. So that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this video, this kind of review of the LiDAR sensor and actually showing you how you can use it in action, what types of apps you need, what types of apps you should use if you wanna take advantage of the LiDAR sensor and just give you my fair opinion that it is not a big deal at all and you shouldn't get this phone just because of it, okay? So that's pretty much it and I'll see you guys in the next video. Please make sure to hit the like button down below also, make sure to hit the comment box and the subscribe button and, of course, the little bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video, all right? So that's pretty much it, and I'll see you guys in a few days. Bye-bye.